Hello there families, hello there kids for Christ, my name is Big Brother Lester and welcome to this month's online assembly. This is our first assembly of the year and I'm so excited to start this year with you families. Are you excited for this month's assembly? I can't hear you. Are you excited for this month's assembly? Wow, I can really feel your energy. As we start our assembly, let's make use of that energy by coming before our God in worship. Families, I invite you to stand as we ready ourselves to sing and dance for God. To lead us in our opening kids' praise, let us welcome Big Brother Randolph. Hello families, I'm Kuya Randolph, and I know we're all excited to start our monthly assembly. But before that, do you know what we always do before we start our monthly assembly? That's right, we always start with an opening kids phrase. But before that, allow me to share an experience of my friend. We all know that Typhoon that hit the Philippines, especially at the Visayas. And I have a friend who's living there. And maybe you have a friend or relatives who's living there too. I haven't received any messages or calls from him that it made me worry. So I prayed to God, hoping that they were all okay and nothing wrong have happened to them. Thankfully, after a couple of days, my friend called me saying that they were all okay. God always shows mercy to those who pray, hopefully to Him. Now, I invite you all to please stand as we start our opening kids' praise. Let's do the sign of love in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen.
my side. Dream big, the future will be bright. Dream big, let's do it all right. We will change the world. Jesus every day.
Lord God. Thank you for this wonderful day that you have given us. Thank you for the opportunity to have this monthly assembly with these wonderful families. Lord, I pray that you may guide us in our studies and guide our families and parents as well in their work. I pray that you will protect us during this pandemic and those who are affected in the typhoon or death. This we pray in your mighty name, Jesus, in the intercession of the Holy Mary. And as all pray, glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and never shall be, world without end. Amen. In the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wow, praise God, and thank you for that, Big Brother Randolph. Did you enjoy our first Kids Praise of the Year families? Great! Now, let us have a recap. Last month, we celebrated Christmas with our families. We remembered how Christ loves us so much that He came to earth with us. That is why we shared our gratitude and proclaimed, I will always be grateful to Jesus for my family. We were also encouraged last month to make our own Advent wreath. Did you do it with your family? Wow, I believe your wreaths were so beautiful. And now, we will be welcoming a brand new year with our monthly assembly. Are you excited for this month's proclamation statement? This month we say, I will put my hope in Jesus. The Gospel reading is taken to the book of John. Glory to you. There was a wedding at Cana in Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples were also invited to the wedding. When the wine ran short, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, how does your concern affect me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servers, Do whatever he tells you. Now, there were six jars, there were four Jewish ceremonial washings, each holding twenty to thirty gallons. Jesus told to them, Fill the jars with water. So they filled them to the brim. Then he told them, Draw some out now and take it to the head water. So they took it, and when the head waiter tasted the water that had become wine, without knowing where it came from, Although the servers who had drawn the water knew, the head waiter called them the bridegroom, the bridegroom, and said to him, Everyone serves good wine first, and then when people have drunk freely, an inferior one, but you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus, Jesus did this as the beginning of his signs at Cana in Galilee, and so revealed his glory, and his disciples began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Hello kids and families, I am Big Sister Sophia and today we'll be talking about our gospel for today. The gospel is taken from John chapter 2 verses 1 to 11 entitled The Wedding at Cana. So one day, Mary, the mother of Jesus, was invited to a wedding at Cana in Galilee together with Jesus and his disciples. In Jesus' time, Wine is one of the most important things offered to guests during wedding feasts. That is because wine is very important as it represents joy and celebration. However, during the wedding, Mary noticed that they ran out of wine, so she told Jesus, They have no wine. But Jesus answered, My hour has not yet come. But? Mary insisted, saying to the servers, Do whatever he tells you. And so, Jesus commanded the servers, Fill the jars with water. And they filled all the jars with water. And then, can anyone guess what happened next? 
Yes, that is right. The water in the jars became wine. And the bride, the groom, and all the wedding guests were very delighted. And this was the first miracle of Jesus Christ. Hello kid, day for your activity is I hope to become. What is it again? Yes, that is correct. For our activity today, we'll be needing cut out pictures, sing old magazines, newspapers, and old books. And we will be needing writing and coloring materials. must cut out the pictures according to your gender. Using the writing and color, draw something the cutouts to make it look like the job or work you hope to come in the future. Help your kids in this part. Here are some of the sample outputs. Hope you enjoy kids! next time. Bye! Hello kids! I am your big sister, Ali. And right now, we're going to do your senior activity entitled, I Hope to Become. Are you all excited? I know you are. So right now, let's do our activity. The first thing that we need to do, kids, is to gather the materials needed for our activity. These are cut-out folders with a size of 5 by 3 inch, and bunt papers, some markers, and safety pins, and of course, glue or paste. Now, we're going to give you a minute to, to get and gather your materials. Okay, now that you have all the materials that we need for our activity, the first thing that we need to do is to paste the bond paper to the cutout folder according to its size. Okay, what we have here, kids, is a name plate. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is using our markers and pens, you will write your names, your full name on top of the band paper, and below it, you will write the job or the work or profession that you hope to become in the future. Like, for example, you, if you want to become an engineer, then you will put it below your full name or a teacher or nurse or priest and whatever profession that you want to become in the future. Are you done, kids? Okay. Now, with the help of our parents or sisters or brothers, they will help us 
to pin the name plates on the left side of our chest using the safety pin. And now we're on to the last part of our activity. The last part of our activity is about a self-introduction, a very short self-introduction that will be written on a bond paper with the title, I Hope to Become. Now with the help of our parents or siblings, um, they will help us to introduce ourselves, portraying the profession or career that you want to become someday that you hope to become someday and that was the end of our activity entitled i hope to become thank you kids and god bless do you know what hope is hmm. <laughs> hope means trusting god's promises the promise that He is with us always. Hope also means that we depend on the strength of the Holy Spirit. What do you hope to become in the future? Hmm, let me see. Oh, wow! In all things that we hope for, we should remember that it is only through Jesus that we can do them. Therefore, it is very important that we always pray to Him and ask for His help so that we can reach our dreams. But sometimes, Jesus has a different and a better dream for us. Remember the problem the bride and the groom had in the gospel we read? Running out of water was not part of their plan. Yet, Little did they realize that God had a better plan for them. Jesus did his first miracle at their wedding by changing water into wine. The same goes for us. We know and believe that Jesus is always with us, right? Wow! So therefore, whatever problems we may face, we can always put our hope in Him simply because Jesus loves us so much and He always has the best plans for us. So kids, to whom do we put our hope? Let us together say, I will put my hope in Jesus. Hi kids and families, I am your big brother Ryan. Did you remember our featured saint last time? That's great! So this month, I will share to you our featured saint for January. Let me introduce to you Saint Thomas Aquinas. So we celebrate the feast of Saint Thomas Aquinas on January 28th. Again, when do we celebrate the Feast of St. Thomas Aquinas? That's right, January 28. St. Thomas Aquinas was born in Italy. When he decided to become a priest, his family was against it and decided him to put him in jail. But his mother helped him escape because she realized that they cannot change his mind. Thomas entered the Dominican order and became a priest. As a priest, Thomas spent his life in praying, teaching, writing, and traveling. He became one of the great doctors of the church. Now, a doctor of the church is not similar of doctors in the hospital. A doctor of the church is someone who had a great contribution in writing the church's teachings. St. Thomas is the patron saint of all Catholic establishments. 
Again, don't forget St. Thomas Aquinas. I am a hero. Heroes assemble. Heroes unite. I am a hero. KFC hero. We are all heroes. KFC heroes. I am a hero. KFC hero. We are all heroes. KFC heroes. I am a hero. KFC hero. We are all heroes. KFC heroes. I am a hero. KFC hero. We are all heroes. KFC heroes. Hello, kids. Before we start our KFC Heroes Challenge for this month of January, let us recall our KFC Heroes Challenge last December. Our KFC Heroes Challenge last December is to become stewards of God's gifts in terms of time, talent, and treasure. Did you do your KFC Heroes Challenge last month? Good job! Now, let us have our KFC Heroes Challenge for this month. St. Thomas Aquinas is like a hero of the Catholic Church. We too could be like him and be a hero. Do you want to be a hero like St. Thomas? I can't hear you! Do you want to be a hero like St. Thomas? Great! It's KFC Heroes Challenge Time! A hero is always prepared in every situation, wherever he or she is needed. The KFC Heroes Challenge today is to have a strong mind, body, and spirit. So this is our KFC Heroes Challenge. Are you ready? Again, are you ready? Name a vegetable or fruit that you should eat that start with the letters that I would say. H O P E Were you able to have the list of fruits and vegetables? As KFC heroes, those fruits and vegetables we mentioned earlier are food that make us strong in mind, body, and spirit, which leads us to become more hopeful to Jesus. So, let us learn more about knowing to hope to Jesus. I'm your Ate Aliza, and right now, let's talk about our take-home activity entitled, How to Be You. Listen to our instructions. First, with the help of our parents, interview a person that is working or practicing the profession or career that we want to be when we grow up. If we want to become a teacher, interview a teacher. If we want to become a doctor, then interview a doctor and other profession. Second, ask them the following questions. First, what is your full name? Second, when you were a kid, did you dream to become a doctor? or a teacher, or your profession at the present. Third, when you were studying your profession, what were your greatest tests? Did you almost quit during that time? Fourth question, what made you continue to follow your dreams? And last, fifth question, to whom are you thankful for your success right now? Third instruction. End the interview by having a photo with the person. Be sure to thank him or her as well for the time. 
the day we do the interview serves as our KFC Heroes Day. And for our fourth instruction, ask help from our parents to write down the answers in your journal and present it in the next month. Thank you kids for listening! Hi, I'm Eunice. Hi, my name's Nathan. This is Mommy. And that is Daddy. And we, we are the Family Family! Today, we will show you how to do the Family Household! Always start with an opening prayer. The opening prayer will be led by Daddy! Always start your household with a prayer to be led by the parents. Start a round of prayers by having each one to say thank you, then please forgive me, and I pray. After the opening prayer, it's time to read the Gospel. Moms are encouraged to read the Gospel. An activity is provided every household that will help our children gain a deeper understanding of the gospel and the value it highlighted. If you see that the activity is too kiddie to the age of your children, please do have a research on activities that would still fit to the value being highlighted in the gospel. To understand deeper the activity in the gospel, we come now to the processing points. It provides a deeper explanation on how we can live the gospel and value every day. The Father will give the point unless started in the manual. Discussion time! These are guide questions that will help each family member to share their thoughts and feelings about the topic. If the family is new to the family household, children may be hesitant to share. Let them be, but encourage them to share on the next household. If the kid shares inappropriate things or disturbing things, correct him or her privately right after the household. After doing all the activities and sharing, time to say our closing prayers. Close the household with a prayer by expressing our gratitude to Him and to give us strength to live the gospel value learned in the activity. Always ask the intercession of your family patron saint and the saint of the month learned in the monthly chapter assembly. Every household is a celebration. Prepare something, meal or snack for the family. Fellowship is one way to have deeper connection and relationship within family members. The family that prays together stays together. Enjoy your family household! See you! Good day, my dear parents. This is your Tito Lot from Southeastern Mindanao. And welcome to our Parents Forum. Today's assembly, our children learned about being hopeful. The gospel that was used for today's activity was from John chapter 2, verse 1 to 11, the wedding at Cana. And this is where the first miracle of Jesus took place. The children were taught to be always hopeful amidst the challenges we experience, and that in order to achieve their dreams, they can always ask help from us, their parents, and most especially from Jesus, who is the source of hope. 
As parents, we are to be examples to our children on how to be always hopeful. And speaking of example, our KFC Heroes Challenge reminds us parents to encourage our children to be an example, to have a strong mind, body, and spirit by eating nutritious foods, by exercising, and by praying. During times of hardships and problems, we must lead our family to always hold on to Jesus as the source of our hope and strength and focus on the dreams, hopes, and promises that we know He has in store for us. Remember, Jesus can also make miracles in our family, just like what He did at the wedding at Cana. The children's take-home activity is for them to have an interview of the person who is in the profession they want to be in the future. They will ask a series of questions that will allow them to see that in spite of the many challenges that will come their way, they will have to push through and hope for the best. With Jesus' help, let us do our best to guide, encourage, and support our children in achieving their hopes and dreams. Lastly, let us conduct the family household. During the household, let us find the time to discuss and ask the intercession of the featured saint of the month. For our guide on how to conduct the family household, please watch the video, How to Conduct the Family Household, on YouTube. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for the opportunity to have our monthly assembly today. Thank you, Lord, for our families who always guide us and protect us. Give them good health. Protect them always. And Lord, we also pray that all of our learnings from our activities that we will bring not just here in our assembly, and to inspire others. We also pray for those people who are now in need, most especially the victims of calamity. Help them and be with them. Comfort and heal them with your healing hands, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Give them the things that they needed right now. All of this we pray with the intercession of Mother Mary, with the guidance of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. As one family, we pray glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, born without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Alright families, did you enjoy our activities for today? Aba, siyempre po! That's good to hear. Our assembly is now coming to a close. But don't be sad. We'll be right back next month for another monthly assembly. Right here on the CFC KFC TV YouTube channel. You can also watch previous monthly assemblies here on CFC KFC TV as well. For more KFC content, you can also visit our Facebook page, CFC Kids for Christ, and follow us on Instagram at CFC Kids for Christ. Once again, this is your big brother Lester, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next month. Goodbye, families!